everybody, I'm Rob Raybon, and on today's special episode, we're going to do a special plaster dip job on my friend Mike's S550 Mustang. It's gonna be really special. All right, let's talk about what we got going on here. Be sure to follow my friend Mike. This is his Instagram right here. It's pretty low. He's got these awesome RTR wheels. He's got this awesome chassis mount wing, which a lot of people probably already hate him for, but we're gonna give him another reason to hate. Representing Pikachu and burnouts for boobies, which I'm a big fan of. It's a really cool car. I really like S550s. They're a great platform. They look good. They're comfortable. They look really good when they're low. I'm gonna take this off so we can get to the trunk a little bit better. Hopefully we can take this wing off by ourselves. Wing is off and now we can get to taping. We're gonna prep this like we're gonna do with one color. Then we're probably gonna do the roof and the quarter panel. We'll have to tape off the trunk, the rear bumper, front doors, you'll, you'll see. So the car is finally taped up and wiped down. I say finally because S550s are kind of a pain in the ass to prep, but just all the little pieces of the grill, taping all that up, it's pretty time consuming. So if you ever do an S550, take that into consideration. Now that it's all prepped and ready to go, we can go and do one of the, I guess, funnest, but also maybe difficult parts of doing this, and that is making colors. When I did the original one a couple years ago, I used this green, which there's not really any green off the shelf that's exactly that color, so it's kind of like you got a tint and make your own thing, which is kind of fun. At the same time, it makes it harder if you ever have to paint match, if anything ever happens to the vehicle. So uh, make sure you mix up more than what you need. We want to try to use about a gallon of each color. This is going to be a blue base. We're going to mix up some blue. I have a little bit of this light blue and I have some darker blue. And we might tint in a little bit with red. Then we're going to mix up this green. Try to get pretty similar to what we had before. The yellow is going to be off the shelf. The red is going to be off the shelf. And we're going to do a white base for everything. So I have a full gallon of white. So we can do most of our coats in white. And then put the color on top. So online you can find guides if you want to do the Volkswagen theme. Fun with plastic dip is you can do pretty much whatever you want. You don't have to go by what Volkswagen did. Because we're doing a blue base, a roof, a rocker panel, and a rear quarter is going to be blue. Front bumper, front doors, and side mirrors are going to be red. Hood, rear doors, and rear bumper are going to be yellow. Front fenders and front grille are going to be the teal, and the rear hatch is going to be the teal. We're not going to do the front grille just because it's pretty time consuming. We could have did it, but it, it also makes it harder to peel. So the roof, the rocker panels, and the rear quarter are just gonna be blue. So we can go ahead and tape up everything else except those sections. With prepping the entire vehicle, it makes it a little bit easier for cleaning up. It makes everything go quicker, but we do have to tape off something that we kinda of already taped off. But yeah, uh, you'll see. You could go ahead and not even tape everything off because you're going to spray over it anyway but when you're misting against different panels it is going to make texture so I definitely recommend taping everything off before you go and do this When 
taping everything off. You don't have to tape it off completely. Like we don't have to block up the whole door or anything. The hood we're covering that up because of overspray. We probably should put something over the trunk real quick because that's where dip is actually going to settle like all your overspray and everything. The plastic you can kind of reuse as you go as long as you don't put it on the next layer. And also a thing to note is when you're taping up, you don't want to have plastic directly on the next section like your previous section because plastic will start to melt once you get some dip on top of it and the dip that's probably still curing a little bit underneath it can kind of make the plastic melt and then you're not going to get the plastic off but we'll get to that the next section let's just go ahead and spray our white base coats and spray our blue and keep going done we're gonna go ahead and peel all the masking off of the next section as for the next section I was thinking I might do the teal next which will be the front fenders and the rear hatch so we're gonna protect everything that we just did we're gonna put a layer of paper around everything so it's gonna be tape and then paper and then plastic and that should keep the plastic from melting onto our next section. As for tapes, all tapes are not created equal. This is 3M, but it's got this orange writing on it. This is usually a little less adhesive, so this won't grab our dip and peel it up or anything. Uh, we've given it a couple hours. It's been like three hours since we finished up the blue, so we should be good to tape onto it. So the panels that are already sprayed, we have those protected pretty thoroughly. We reused a little bit of masking material just because we can. It's not going to harm anything by putting that over top as long as you put the clean side down. You don't want to put the sprayed side down on top because sometimes it'll tend to stick to itself. We got everything kind of double taped so it's a layer on top of another layer. So we should be pretty good to go. We protected the roof pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and go to our teal which is going to be the fenders and the trunk. I didn't film a lot of how that color was made just because batteries were low but the original formula was electric lime with a bunch of blue thrown in. This time I had some tine green or teen green. I don't know how you pronounce it. I threw that in some clear and then we mixed some blue and some yellow because blue and yellow makes green. I'm gonna do a couple coats of white base just to bury the red. Probably be two coats of that, maybe three, and then the green on top. So yep, let's go. night get back to this tomorrow we're gonna do the red and the yellow and then put the car back together
Eight hours later. This should be good to tape to now. We can go ahead and I think we're gonna do the yellow, which is gonna be the hood and the rear bumper. So this should be a good one to do. Should be pretty easy. Uh, I'm gonna cover the green, obviously, especially where the seams are for this. So let's get to it. got left is the red we could have left the factory red I guess that would have looked pretty cool but the gloss wouldn't have matched any of the matte stuff so I feel like it wouldn't have really blended that well let's get her done So let's hope that we didn't get any overspray anywhere. That way we can have a nice simple cleanup. Let's start time lapse. Now! squad fam that's it for this episode thank you for watching please like and subscribe and watch all my videos so i can afford to build other cars because i have no money to so watch all of them consecutively 24 hours a day seven days a week when you go to bed leave youtube running and leave my videos running so i can get all the view time and stuff you don't really have to do that but that would be pretty neat if like I don't know, 100,000 people did that. I could probably afford to build other stuff with the Z. Thanks for watching, and please, can you do me one more big favor? Please have a great day. Thank you.